Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video, we'll be getting back into Kong Skull Island after a little break, and we'll be talking about Kong Skull Island 2017 possibly being a sequel to 2005's King Kong directed by Peter Jackson and my thoughts on that. Now, the thing that has sparked people thinking that this could possibly be a sequel to the 2005 film is a extremely brief synopsis that was released and it reads, 25 years after King Kong's death in New York, Carl Denham's son runs an expedition to Skull Island and tries to solve the decade-long mystery. Now, this is really, really interesting, and people have speculated that actually King Kong might have survived his fall from the Empire State Building. Now, I do not think that this is true because, of course, that's just absurd to think. Now, I also read that in the story, Carl Denham has gone missing along with King Kong's body, and this is very, very interesting, and it leads people to believe that this is actually a sequel to the 2005 film, and that, as I stated earlier, King Kong might actually still be alive. Now, this is not the case. Now, Carl Denham may have actually returned to Skull Island with King Kong's body and may have laid it to rest there because, of course, we did see that Jack Black, who, of course, played Carl Denham in the 2005 film, did feel pretty bad for his mistakes that he had made bringing King Kong to New York because, really, if you think about it, he's responsible for a whole lot of deaths. It's not even like he killed one or two people by bringing King Kong to New York City, but he killed a lot of people, and I can understand somebody like that who went through that being super guilt-ridden and wanting to return Kong to his natural habitat to lay to rest, and then possibly Carl Denham being killed there himself and this would lead Carl Denham's son to of course want to go find his dad even though he most likely is dead at this point because Carl Denham if this is a sequel to the 2005 King Kong film yeah he was able to fight a little bit in that large pool of insects but he's no major survivor no way could he have survived that long on Skull Island maybe something happened maybe he was accepted into the tribe there which is really out there there and I don't think that would happen either but it's still a possibility but my theory is that if this is indeed a 2005 if this is the sequel to 2005 Carl Denham is dead at this point and of course it being set 25 years later now of course I do think that we will be seeing a giant ape in this film could we be seeing King Kong's son I definitely think so because Kong it's kind of almost like a title that I could see being carried on uh, through his offspring. And we never really saw confirmation that Kong never had offspring. They might have been off screen at that point. But it's kind of interesting to think. Now, if this isn't a sequel uh, to the 2005 King Kong movie, we might even see flashbacks of Carl Denham where he is actually seeing uh, King Kong and maybe Kong's son there and then he only decides to take King Kong and then when he returns to the island to possibly check on King Kong's son to see if he's okay he's killed then I think that might be a little more likely now will Jack Black return for this role I don't know I mean I actually think that he did a very good job I know it was very unconventional casting and I even watched a documentary on the 2005 King Kong movie where they just bashed Jack Black's performance and they just said it was terrible but I disagree I think he did a very good job very unconventional casting but for a lot like for a lot of situations unconventional casting turns out to really work out in the end and I think that it worked out in this case with Jack Black giving possibly the best performance in the movie in my own opinion so yeah that's just kind of the sequel news that's been circulating I don't think it's a sequel although I would love for it to be a sequel we have so little information on this film so far and real quick I'd also like to touch briefly on some casting that came out we had John C. Riley who has joined the cast and I love John C. Riley. that's another thing where it's unconventional casting but I definitely think it's gonna work John C. Riley, definitely a great actor and I think he's gonna kill it Samuel Jackson you cannot go wrong with Samuel Jackson, guys. 
that's perfect. And then Toby Kebbell, who a lot of people have been speculating will be playing King Kong himself after his motion capture in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, playing Koba, of course, who a lot of people say he actually outperformed Andy Serkis in that role uh, as Koba, and it's great to see him play King Kong. It's very, very interesting because, of course, for those of you that don't know, Andy Serkis actually played King Kong in Peter Jackson's 2005 film, and then, of course, with him being in the same movie as Toby Kevill, it, it'll definitely be interesting to see Toby Kevill play King Kong if he does indeed end up playing Kong. So yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on what we've missed over the past couple of weeks. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think Kong Skull Island is going to be a sequel? Do you prefer it not being a sequel? Do you want it to be a sequel? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.